Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No Run Films. I'm going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial in particular, we're actually going to be covering the top three things that you guys should know about iMovie, or when you're editing, what you should know about iMovie. So let's begin. I'm going to open up iMovie here, and uh, just to let you guys know, I'll be sure to check out my previous tutorials. It's going to be, it's going to help you guys a lot, and uh, I've covered a lot in previous tutorials. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, also, I'm planning on doing a maybe live stream. I might do a live stream regarding uh, iMovie, and uh, like maybe some of you will join me live and ask me questions live, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Like, uh, and I'll probably do some editing and answer any questions you guys might have regarding iMovie, just to finish our iMovie tutorials. And uh, and then also, um, for now, I think that's about it. <laughs> Let me, I'll think about if I have anything else to add as we go through this video. But so begin, as you begin, when you first open up your iMovie version of iMovie, you, you be, you'll basically get something like this. It'll open up into your all events, your, all your events here, and uh, you'll probably more look like something like this here. And uh, if you haven't already and you wanted to transfer all your stuff from the previous version of iMovie to this version, you just go simply to File, Update Projects and Events, it will transfer everything for you. Do not interrupt the process though while it's transferring because that is something that I uh, failed at. I actually shut off my iMovie or computer when I was updating and uh, more than half of my movies were lost. So that was very disappointing. So yeah, I don't suggest uh, messing or <laughs> interrupting this process so as soon as you begin and you want to revert this back to you you like you don't see the content library which would be here or your adjustments your items are grayed out and items like you can't use them at the moment it's because you don't really have a project open yet so what you want to do is you're going to want to uh, simply basically what I'm going to show you guys is to change it back to the layout where you see everything and uh, you have all your options open for you like so to begin I'm actually gonna select a like a event here these are gonna be your libraries I'm gonna select a project here my projects open and as you can see this is your now your uh, your main uh, project your movie that you're making is gonna be down here below unlike the new old version of my movie you had it up here um, or you could actually swap it around uh, that's what we're gonna do here we're actually gonna swap this around we're gonna go to window and we're gonna go to swap project and event so what I did is um, this is actually like I'm the final if you're going into Final Cut Pro and you're gonna start using that to edit I suggest you and you're just gonna use iMovie for now I suggest you keep this down here because Final Cut Pro uses the main project down below or like I like on Final Cut Pro you could also sw switch them around as well but honestly in Final Cut Pro it's easier to have it the main the main movie project below so what you want to do to swap it around to the old version of iMovie is basically go to swap project and event window swap project and event and it will change it back to the old version now now you'll have all your imported clips um, as soon as you import them into your personal whatever event you would like it in and uh, you basically import and it will pop up down here below in your events showing you everything right now we only have an image so that's all for now but yeah now you can see that since we have a project that's been selected we have the project up we have uh, the libraries here we have the content library here which are very self-explanatory and if you don't know what they are be sure to check out my previous tutorials and then you also have your enhance option and uh, we did cover all these as well in the tutorials my previous tutorials and you have adjustments where you will do your most of your basic editing audio stabilization and uh, that sort of picture in picture and there's just a lot of options and then also if you want to edit a certain clip you basically do, can double click it do a trim which we didn't cover a lot but it's very it's very self-explanatory it's very easy to use but and uh, I don't honestly use trim a lot I just use the command keys and then um, here you got you can also right click the clip and get additional options or double click the clip and it will give you additional options regarding um like editing detaching audio freeze frame and refill and finder but for now um, next next uh, what we're going to cover is the like if you don't know this yet it is recommended you um, get a hold of uh, command keys quick keys um, basically using your keyboard to the advantage and uh, like for example spacebar is a very common one you hit the spacebar your clip plays basically and you hit it again hit the spacebar again to stop the clip instead of going like you want this part to play and you don't have to go all the way over here and hit play and then see what it is. It's easy, a lot easier with the spacebar. 
and uh, it definitely saves you a lot of time. Then another one, common one is, uh, let's say you want you found like right here, you you don't want something right here that you may have, uh, or you said something, and you want to cut it out. You can always hit, like let's say you want it, this is where it begins. You can hit Command B, you can hold Command B, and it will cut right there. And then let's say you don't want this whole part right there where you turn, turn. And, you, and then you hit Command B right here as well, and I'm going to... Select that, hit delete on my keyboard, and you'll see my whole turning is gone. Besides, I'm turning back. And uh, you also, you can hit Command Z to undo all of those actions that you just did. So remember the space bar to play and stop a video, the Command B to split a clip at any point, or split it anywhere, and uh, also Command Z to undo whatever you change you may have done that you never want meant to do or wanted to do. Those will those command keys are the, probably the most common ones I use, and uh, they're definitely going to save you a lot of time. Then uh, also another thing is uh, memory management. When you're editing, let's say you're importing a lot of clips into your iMovie, and you just you have a lot of clips. Honestly, like after you hit delete on it, hit delete here, and you've removed it from your main uh, event since I don't really have anything here but it's gonna be kinda hard to exp well I'll do my best um, let's say you, you deleted it from your event and you're, you're just trying to get rid of it like completely get rid of it because you're already done you export it you put it on YouTube you put it on iTunes or wherever you may save uh, your movies and uh, as soon as you're done completely done with the clip you like you don't want it anymore because you already saved it somewhere else you hit delete on it you delete it you thought you deleted it from here but honestly no um, you haven't officially deleted it what you want to do is you want to go over to your right hand side here and you're gonna go to rejected because when you hit delete on your main events when you're you're at high rejected command uh, currently that's where your all your main clips are that will be as soon as you imported them they'll be under hide rejected which is like basically normal clips and they won't be under favorites because you haven't favorited any clips, but they'll be under hide rejected. And uh, you'll actually be able to see the clips here. And as soon as you hit delete here and delete off of your project, you can go to hide rejected. And now I'll only show you the clips that have been rejected, meaning after you delete them, they basically get put in this file named as rejected. They'll all be in here. And then you can hit command A basically to select them all and uh, hit delete again. And then, then it's going to move them straight into your recycle bin or trash. And uh, from there, you'll be able to completely remove it from your computer. But other than that, when you hit delete off your events and delete off your project, it gets moved to your rejected file. And then you have to delete it from there once again in order to officially get rid of it and put it into your trash. But other than that, I think I've covered quite a bit. Um, uh, hoping this uh, tutorial helped to clear things, some things up. You guys learned something new. And like I said, be sure to leave a comment below. We are uh, basically coming towards the end of our tutorials um, for iMovie and uh, I am I am taking suggestions on what you guys would like to see more tutorials on or if uh, there's a tutorial I may have missed on iMovie or if there's a new program that you would like me to uh, do a tutorial on or start doing tutorials on like right now I have a uh, motion up in the air like the motion 5 or Final Cut Pro and a few other programs but right now I'm kinda leaning towards uh, Final Cut Pro tutorials or motion 5 uh, tutorials so other than that you guys leave me comment in the section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and uh, any suggestions or comments or anything you guys want to say is welcome thank you guys for watching later Let my life be the proof the proof of you